up in Georgia. I grew up in the 90s. Uh, even though the influence of the fall of the Soviet Union was quite heavy on that economic situation and everything, for some reason the, the art scene there, musical and visual art, was quite strong. We had a piano uh, at home and as a child I was kind of always fascinated like uh, with a piano as an instrument, you know, you look at this great big thing, you know, especially when you're little and you're looking up at the thing, and uh, you know the sound that it produced. Um, I sometimes like like to take the fur, the front panel off to see the mecha the mechanics inside and all that, and the strings, the hammers, and everything that goes. Although it's without words, it's instrumental music. You're um, given an opportunity to put into uh, music uh, and emotion, spirituality, something uh, that you feel, that you have inside of you uh, to express uh, through sounds. I was growing up in the 90s, during the 90s, uh, and that was a very difficult economic times in Ukraine. Perhaps the environment, uh, the cultural environment was not as great during the 90s, you know, because of those uh, economic and uh, problems in the society. When you faced, you know, Ukraine is a young country pretty much. It was, uh, it got independence, independence in 1991. My mom was uh, this person that uh, played a huge role in, in my education, in uh, explaining to me what art is about. And she was taking me to music festivals. Sometimes I was sleeping during those concerts. However, part of that I was, <laughs> I was aware of the surroundings and, and she was also encouraging. She was talking to me, you know, she was explaining uh, to me what I have to listen to. It stays with you throughout your life, and that's, that create, creates also interest to art uh, in the future. You know, it's, it's interesting. I have a lot kind of in, in my, uh, you know, in, in the heart about the piano. It's really hard sometimes to, to uh, get it to words. The moment when, you know, these little details of our life, uh, these uh, things that we're sometimes worried about, uh, you know, the um, things that you know you need to take care of, uh, such as you know money, maybe uh, you know some of the uh, news and information that's coming outside into your life. Uh, the moment when you work on the piece, when you are spending time with piano, that's your moment when you can uh, really uh, move everything else towards the side. You know that doesn't matter anymore. Uh, the music becomes something more important. And that's when I can really go back to my senses, to myself, you know, and realize that there are some things that are more important in life than everything else that's, you know, circling around you. And uh, I think that probably that's the most precious moments, you know, when you can f feel that. And I really appreciate that I have the connection with music and piano that gives me this opportunity in my life. I moved to the United States in uh, 2002. Um, I continued my music education here, um, and that's where I met Anton. Even then, back at the university, we started talking about these um, something, some kind of project that we wanted to do, tweaking of uh, the scene, like the setting of the musical environment, make it more intimate. Space that we're using, there's no stage. You're kind of surrounding the uh, artists at the end. You get to interact with the artist and outside of performance, get to experience his or her character. I visit a lot of concert halls in my life. I, uh, some of the uh, academic concert halls or standard concert halls, they're uh, lacking, they're a little bit impersonal. Uh, you know, there is also this sort of a separation between audience and the perform performers because you have this uh, huge uh, place for audience and then elevated stage.
And uh, that's why we were looking for a concert space in uh, Vancouver that would um, uh, accommodate our ideas. The name, uh, of course, has um, meaning the uh, lantern. Uh, we came up with that name, Musca Lanterna. It's a Latin version of that uh, name. Uh, it has to do with light, light that kind of gives uh, inspiration, it illuminates, it has to do with exploration. If music engages the audience, if they feel immersed, if they feel like they have um, experienced this warmth or fire or uh, you know, whole spectrum of uh, emotions and if they were touched by the music, then we have uh, achieved our goal. We are really trying to create something special in Vancouver. We are bringing exceptional artists into the community here. And uh, each of those artists have um, very special things that they can share with people. Uh, music also can be uh, as a healing element. You know, if a person had a bad day, you know, going through some tough times, uh, some of the uh, music and um, that can be heard can be uh, you know, cause healing in one's soul.